Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. One thing I can tell you we never anticipated when we started working on Toy Story in 1992 was the ability to walk into these places the way they do here at Walt Disney World is just crazy. Uh, and it thrills me to be here. In fact, my family is off running around in the park right now while I'm here talking. Not that I'm jealous, but... Um, <laughs> I am really looking forward to uh, Toy Story Land, which is opening very soon, uh, and uh, having a chance to walk into that world uh, is going to be fun. Until that happens, let's uh, say a few words about the reason why 50 talented musicians are sitting here on stage, and that is the music of Pixar Live, a symphony of characters. Uh, it's the very first sound cartoon in 19... 19- 28, uh, uh, it was uh, Steamboat Willie. Music has been an essential part of what animation does. And though we today use computers instead of pens and paint, uh, it is no less important for two reasons. One, even as you're sitting here today, it's impossible not to get a little tingle when that music starts to play. I mean, it's just, there's something about music that allows you to feel and, and communicate emotions in ways that we can't just by speaking. So that's first. And second, it really helped us tell the stories. Um, the storytelling comes through in the music, and that was our primary focus in creating this program, was uh, allowing the music to kind of get a little uh, forward uh, thrust here and to showcase the amazing stuff that our talented uh, collaborators, uh, like Michael Giacchino and Randy Newman, etc., uh, the amazing music that they've created for our films. Um, so, uh, Without further ado, what we'd like to do is to give you a little sneak peek, a little preview of Pixar in concert, sorry, the music of Pixar Live, a symphony of, of characters.